What's happening, friends? Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and on this channel, I talk about cryptocurrency, decentralized finance, and economics. Today's video is about how we are at the start of what appears to be a new bull run in NFTs, and how I made an investment that's allowing me to profit from that bull run and actually get paid when other people trade NFTs without having to pick and choose individual NFTs myself. Before I go any further, I want to emphasize that nothing in this video is financial advice. You should still do your own research, of which this video can be an important part. Cool. So let's jump into it. First, some background on what is going on in the world of NFTs. You can see on the screen here, we have a chart of total NFT market sales by week. And of course, we had a major leg up in August going into September where NFTs just NFT volume exploded and, and just blasted through all previous highs. And, and then it's been cooling off for a few months. Over the past month, however, it started to recover and importantly recover in a sustainable way. So NFT volume now is actually similar to what it was in that initial peak in early August without having such a dramatic run up, which is very good, very sign of a very good sign of a healthy market. On top of that, NFTs have been getting more mainstream attention. Twitter just last week allowed, started allowing users to make an NFT their profile picture and they get a special hexagon shaped profile picture if they choose to do that. Additionally, Justin Bieber, one of the biggest stars in the world, if you somehow are not familiar with him, bought a Bored Ape Yacht Club NFT just yesterday for 500 Ethereum. So he spent $1.3 million on an NFT and, and, and he's not the first celebrity to do so. So this is just more sign that NFTs are getting mainstream adoption, mainstream attention, and just there's a huge amount of money flowing into this space. Uh, and this left me with a bit of a dilemma personally, because I spend a lot of my free time on crypto. I'm very into the world of crypto. However, I realize that I'm horribly underexposed to NFTs. And the simple reason is that my channel is focused on DeFi. So most of my research is on new and upcoming DeFi projects. And given the fact that I'm preparing content for this channel, uh, I can't really become, I don't have the time to become an expert on NFTs as well. So my thought is, well, even if I can't pick and choose specific NFTs, what I could do is invest in NFT infrastructure. And so that's what the play in this project is about. That is NFT storage, NFT marketplaces, protocols to allow you to borrow against NFTs, things like that, that might be classified as DeFi or other cryptocurrency investments, but that still benefit from NFT adoption. And, uh, and yeah, so, so that's basically what I decide to do. They say that in a gold rush, you want to be the one selling picks and shovels. And to me, probably the best way to capture value for, from NFTs is from a marketplace. Right now, the largest marketplace by far is OpenSea. Uh, however, OpenSea has some issues. For one thing, it's structured like a Web2 company, and they've indicated that they want to do an IPO rather than issue a token. And in the world of crypto, that, that is considered sometimes a big no-no because it's not really rewarding users, and it, um, it, it doesn't give users as much of a stake in the protocol. Additionally, they've engaged in some other things that people found to be problems like censorship. Uh, and, and, and a lot of these issues culminated in just over the past week, they had a bug in their system that didn't fully cancel the smart contracts when people delisted NFTs. And so this allowed some, this says hackers, but really people who, who uh, some coders to actually, actually buy NFTs that had been delisted sometimes for 1% of their value. Um, 1% of their current value. And, and and that is a major, major problem. And, you know, some people lost hundreds of thousands of dollars because of this exploit. And so this has opened a lot of room for a new forward thinking marketplace to jump into the picture. And so that thus enters looks rare, which is a, a NFT marketplace that has been getting a lot of attention recently. And it sort of captured the hearts of many people in the world of NFTs. And if you look at the website here, you can see it's pretty sleek. Um, it, it's already fully functional. People can list NFTs. People are trading NFTs on here. You can do all sorts of, uh, all the sorts of things that you would normally expect to do on an NFT marketplace. Additionally, the, uh, I'm pretty impressed because I have traded some NFTs, even though it's not really my thing before. And, and, and they added some pretty interesting features as well. So they allow you to get rewarded when you buy and sell NFTs. So you receive their looks token. So you could think of this as the difference between a DEX that rewards you for 
for providing liquidity versus a DEX that does not, right? So, so this is sort of like when SushiSwap started introducing Sushi rewards and Vampire attacked Uniswap. Uh, in, in another uh, way you could, another thing that's interesting that they do is they give a share of platform fees to looks stakers. So every transaction on here has a 2% fee, which is actually lower than OpenSea's 2.5% fee. And that gets distributed entirely to people who are staking looks token. So this is what I love about this is other people are trading NFTs. There's a bull run going on. I don't even have to worry about seeing, you know, which NFTs are getting popular. I just can just stake looks tokens and I'll get my portion of the fees. Um, and, and then they also have some other features that, that, that are pretty interesting. So you can make an offer across an entire collection. You can offer to buy an NFT with a specific trait, or you can cancel multiple open orders in one transaction. So, 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 so they're already sort of being more than just a fork. And, and, and I found that to be pretty impressive. Unfortunately, this is on Ethereum. So in order to do a lot of these things I'm talking about, uh, you will have to pay Ethereum gas fees. However, uh, however, as we'll see in a second, if you uh, have even even a few thousand dollars, then it may may be worth looking into. Um, and, and so let's talk a bit more about the looks token. Uh, their tokenomics, I thought, were pretty impressive. So 75% go to the community, um, and they are being distributed somewhat rapidly right now, and then that'll taper off over time. And, and you can see that the uh, tokens from the team and treasury actually don't become sellable until six months after launch, which we're still in the first month, so basically five and a half months from now. Uh, and the tokens from the strategic sale don't become sellable until then either. Um, so, so, so tokenomics, I was pretty impressed with. All the fees are going back towards stakers, and uh, yeah, and, so, and so, so, so basically, this is the sort of picks and shovel play that I was looking for. Um, and, and, and so, let's see sort of how how it's um, stacking up so far. You can see this is a diagram from Token Terminal, and be, looks where a transaction volume has actually been blowing OpenSea out of the water. And part of this is because people are there are some people who are wash trading to get those looks rewards because you get paid in looks for using the platform. However, I mean, that is a ton of NFT users, money and eyeballs that are being driven over to looks rare. And, uh, and then if we look at actual revenue, you can see over the past 30 days, it's actually brought in more revenue than any other app It's brought in $200 million in revenue over the past 30 days. And remember, that is all getting distributed back to token holders. And, uh, and, and yeah, so and so some people were saying, well, 90% of it is wash trading. Let's look at past seven days. So past seven days, looks rare has brought in about 60 million. OpenSea's brought in 23 million. Even if we say 90% of this is wash trading, it would still be the fourth largest protocol by revenue, bigger than Curve, just smaller than DYDX, and almost a third as big as open C. And so, uh, yeah, so, 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 so to me, this is, this is pretty strong growth for the first month wash trading or no. And, uh, and, and the, the culmination of this is that if you stake looks right now, it actually gives you a 585% APR. And if you look at the breakdown of that, about 234% of that comes from looks rewards because they do distribute new looks tokens to stakers as well. So you can always be sure that you're maintaining your slice of the total market cap, even if the total number of looks tokens in circulation goes up. But 350% of that is actually coming from platform fees. So uh, you know, if I'm buying and staking and people are wash trading and they want to pay me a platform fee, then I am totally fine with that. And yeah, so 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 so, so I think this is a pretty cool, pretty cool way to benefit from the NFT bull run while applying some of the concepts from DeFi, like yield farming, like, like shared revenues that many of us know and love. If you don't want to invest in looks, or you don't want to go on Ethereum, there are also a number of other marketplaces out in the uh, on other chains that you can look at. However, for me, I, I said, even though I try to stay off Ethereum when I can, most NFT activity is on Ethereum. So, uh, so, so I bit the bullet and, and started uh, staking looks rare. 
Let me know what you guys think about looks rare in the comments. Let me know how you are taking advantage of the NFT bull run if you are. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. That's all I got. Till next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.